Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clay and in today's video we're going to be checking out the MX-9 and Modern Warfare 2. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button. Today's like goal is going to be 25 likes. So if you guys could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it and it helps out the channel a bunch. Before I get into the attachments, I don't know what they've done to this gun or if my attachments are just that good. But this gun absolutely shreds now. If they could change the iron sights a little bit, I would like this gun a lot more. But I'm going to quickly jump into the attachments for you guys. Over on the comb, I'm going to be using the FTAC C11 riser. It adds sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed. The cons are aiming stability and aim walking speed. With the tuning, I'm going to be going with 0.25 ounces to the weight to add recoil stabilization and negative 0.15 inches to the thickness to add aim down sight speed. For the rear grip, I'm going with the Bruin Q900 grip to add sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. The cons are recoil control. With the tuning, I'm taking away negative 0.58 ounces to the weight to add aim down sight speed and negative 0.29 inches to the width to add sprint to fire speed. On the laser, I'm going to be using the Aku shot 5 milliwatt laser. It adds aim down sight speed and aiming stability. The con is laser visible in ADS. With the laser tuning, I'm going with negative 0.35 ounces to the weight to add sprint to fire speed. And I went ahead and made the zeroing distance all the way over to aim down sight speed. Now with the magazine there, the base is 25. So adding the 32 round mag just makes it just so much easier to use. With the barrel, I'm using the 508 millimeter rear guard barrel as damage range, hit fire accuracy, and bullet velocity. The cons are aimed down sight speed and hip recoil control. I was making sure I read that correctly. With the barrel tuning, I'm going with 0.35 pounds to the weight to add recoil sightness and 0.25 inches to the length to add damage range. Like I said, this class setup is just absolutely amazing. It might really be my class setup, but I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay. I ended up dropping an MGB for you guys. Hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, we're going to be using the MX-9 today. Definitely a little bit weird of a map to be using this gun, but we're going to try the, our best. <clears throat> Actually, I haven't played this map in a while. Got the sniper. No, I knew somebody was going to come up there, but... Just took him a while. Wow. There already has a shield up. Target down. Reloading. I had two mitts right there. Why are y'all running over here? Voice crack, jeez. <clears throat> oh. I don't know why they're just running over here for. I guess they're just trying to look for me. Hard point compromised. Secure the area. This is not the ideal. Hard point to be pushing right now with this gun. Oh. How do you not kill me? Stupid right here. Nobody's here. Quick fix online. Changing 
I'm taking a lot of long range chows with this gun. Can't believe it's actually getting me kills though. Oh my god, bro. Alright, now we should probably start playing objective. I thought I was gonna be able to get a nuke, but. Watching your six. It's all good. Advanced UAVs by accident. Oh my god, why did he chow me? The map is definitely a lot bigger than what I remember in the beta. I feel like it'd be really fun on this and you. Oh, 
run over here and get into action. I'm dead. I have 67 kills right now. What? <clears throat> Streak I'm on, but I kind of want to play for it. I'm on a 25. Let's go. I just got sniped at. I'm running. Oh my god, he was following me. right there. Call that in. 82 kills. Did not expect that at all on this map. It's definitely a really good gun. I don't know what they've done to it, but it is. It's gotten a lot better. 84 kills. I hope you guys enjoyed. GG's.